Mama's in the shower right now. My time to do this is very limited. She is washing her hair with the wind. So that takes time to do it right. <sighs> Yesterday was kind of a bad day. Bad because... Passed out on your hands, or and out here, people haven't believed me or understood. People haven't believed me or understood um, about my aunt Marion and what she did to my mom. And I understand that because, you know, people think well, your aunt couldn't possibly have a power of attorney over your mom unless your mom wanted that. No. My mom's trusting. My mom's naive. My mom's everything I used to be magnified. Yeah, I just have to take my word for it. My Aunt Mary did this behind my mother's back. And then later when my aunt and my mom is completely controlled. So she accepts it, you know. But you want proof of what I know about my mom and what she doesn't understand about the kind of power her sister, half-sister, mind you, half-sister who eight years before my mother even knew of, it ex of its existence had my mom sign a document that my aunt's husband had drawn up. He was a notary. And the two kids had signed as witnesses. Not illegal, unfortunately, but definitely not kosher as a Jewish attorney, Jewish wife of a notary, later told me back in all I after I had survived my 2009 summer battle. Um, I'll give you an idea though, my mom gets angry with me because my mom will admit things to me, especially when I was in California, not actually here, and how Marion is and whatever, and, and you know, Marion has, you know, kids who, who work on things, right? But they don't do the best job, so when my mom needed something major done to her house, she'd use those Marion's kids in the past, they'd done a lousy job, right? Um, my mom decided to go with some a, a worker who, her other sister, the one who has cancer now, had used, right? Thing. Marion was, I heard about this when I was back in LA, of course. Um, Marion was furious that my mother didn't use her, Marion's kids, who had done, repeatedly done lousy jobs, half assed jobs, okay? Marion was furious. It's all about control for Marion. She was furious. She's like, she's like, oh, I guess blood is thicker than water. You know, she said some snide, sarcastic comment. Now, yesterday, my mom, you know, my mom doesn't like me to say anything bad about Mary because my mom doesn't want to be thrown in the nut house, you know, so my mom just accepts that her sister has complete control of her and whatever, you know. Better than be at least she can be here in her house with her dog and yeah. and my mom firmly believes that her sister's on the up and up. I don't. She did it I mean 
smart people will tell me, a lawyer told me, um, when I was staying at the shelter, I saw a free lawyer, and he outright said, you know, if just the fact that, that it was done, whenever it's done behind somebody's back, tells you that things are not on the up and up, okay? But my mom is, won't have any of that when I try to say it to her, but she, my mom was pissed that, you know, when she even said yesterday, she goes, because about the thing where my blood is thicker than water thing, and my mom goes, she thinks my money is her money, and as I've said repeatedly and pissed my mother off to no end because she won't accept the truth, I look at her and I go, because it is, mom, your money is her money, no, 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 no. There's no proof right there. My mom does not understand how powerful this power of attorney is. My mom will never get rid of it. Um, and there's not a damn thing that I can do about it. Not a damn thing. Mom. Um, not in my situation, just like my lawyer friend told me. I mean, and there's nothing you can do, you know. Based on your history and your past and the fact. And now, you know, that I'm on psych disability now. I mean, I never said I wanted power of attorney. I wanted power of my mom. I want not the half sister to have it, but whatever. That's what I can do. But I can be frustrated and I can be angry over what I found out yesterday. It should have been a simple thing. Simple. Oh, I need to preface this with my aunt. My aunt has money, okay? She's going on vacation now for two weeks. She goes on vacation all the time. That's why back in L.A. I used to say to my mom, I'd be like, or even to Max's mom, I'd be like, what does Marion have to be so mean to me for? What does she care if 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 I'm quote-unquote narcissistic or if I like to do things on the internet or if I like to talk about What does she care? She's relatively rich. She goes on vacation all the time. She's married, if not happily, I don't know her situation, you know, but why does she have to get on my case? What the fuck does she care what I do with my life? What does she even care if I'm a porn actor? You know, what does she care? I didn't understand because she's not ugly. She's a pillar of the community. She's this, that, whatever, you know, because my mom would say, too, she's jealous of you. Leave me alone. What do you care? You have everything. I'm, I'm you know, I'm whatever should have been a simple thing. I'm in the shelter in the summer. My mom happens to mention me. Remember, this was back in July or June, whenever I was visiting, that she'd never gotten her federal tax return, but she got her state return immediately. She'd used the woman that Matt Marion had also used to do her taxes, right? My mom hadn't gone, you know, Marion had turned everything in, yada, yada, whatever. Should be no big deal. Right? should be no big deal to find out what happened to my mama's money. It's not a lot of money. Now my mother doesn't even need it because it's my mom got $10,000 from that case. They finally won that case that my aunt is used to keep my mother in line. Marion put in a thousand. My mom put in a thousand. It was a wrongful death over my mom's husband, you know, and it was went on year after year after year and whatever. They finally won. They got a whopping 10000 but my mom was thinking it was going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars because I used to hear from her in L.A. and any time Marion would do anything bad. Yeah, but she's helping with the case. Right, you know, it's like, it's just bullshit. Okay. I'll show you how my aunt is. And yeah, do I appreciate the fact I told my mom I'm, I'm, out, I'm, I'm forthright with my mother. What she can handle or not, I don't, you know. I'm forthright with her. Um, she's on three strong psych meds now. She at least got off the fucking Suprexor. She's on something else. It's not causing her to gain weight. Um, at least not. Like, Suprexor is notorious for. Um, she's on Depakote, like Suprexor, and Prolexin. I'm sorry, it's like code something that replaced with Suprexor like or something. I don't know. And Prolexin. Um, but anyway. been something simple. I told my mom exactly what to do. We called up. An IRS agent says to me and to my mom, "Oh, you're a victim of identity fraud. We have two social. We have two forms, tax forms filed under your social. That's why you never got your dollars. 
Um, it's not a lot of money, but so what? It's my mother's money. The government shouldn't get to keep it. I did everything for my mom. The guy explained what you do. I printed all... We, we didn't have a printer. I printed all the things for him at the library. I told my mom you have to make a copy of your social and your and your license and send in this pretty simple form. What did my mother do? She gave it to Marion. Gave it to Marion. She didn't do it herself. Gave it to Marion. Marion has given her the runaround ever since. And my mom's sitting there like, well, Marion wrote to the congressman, and Marion did this, and Marion did that now. And Marion had the nerve to say, you were not a victim of identity fraud. Hmm. Why the fuck didn't my mother get my money? And even more importantly, why would the IRS agent have lied to me and my mother? It's bullshit. And Marion just thinks she knows everything. And my mom will admit it. Marion thinks she, she doesn't know it all. She thinks she knows everything. Um, you know what her plan is? Her plan is to write on my mom's 2012 tax return this year, um, something, an addendum, we didn't get our money, or I didn't get my money, you know, something stupid, it's not gonna work, it's, it's already the year later, and she, my mother never got her money, and do you see how my aunt is, and she's actually giving my mom a run around, and I'm like, mom, I told you exactly what to do to take care of this, and you didn't do it, you put it in Marion's hands, and Marion has the nerve to sit there and say to you that the IRS agent lied to you? No. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if Marion is just blowing it off, doesn't care, whatever. Just, you know, give him a month to fucking run around. If there's a run around, I don't know what the reason is. I know Marion did steal the money. She didn't need 500 dollars no. But whatever, it's all about control. Just like when my mother did not use Marion's sons to fix something major that wanted to cost him $5,000. And when my mom was in the other house, you know, when she was with the crazy guy, whatever, but it doesn't matter. She did use Marion's sons, and no, she told me, she was like, she was like, they didn't even give me a discount anyway, you know, so, it's just Marion, this is all hers, I, I, I can't get that through to my mom, I can't get it through to my mother who wants everything to go to me, I don't know, can we make a will behind Marion's back, are you allowed to do that, when, I don't know, am I like totally screwed, is there nothing that I can do, I don't fucking know. No. I should have I hope Donald's mom, Max's mom, before she turned against me and definitely led to me almost dying. She was my last friend of the most impressive but she turned against me and I lost it. Black wandering around for hours and hours blacked out in the city. I'm like, I told you guys it's a miracle. I'm still here, it's a miracle almost. I nearly died even before I was living on the streets for a week with Oma, or in hotels, or whatever. Am I allowed to at least? Is my mother, you know, I can, my mom will do this if she, can we do that behind Marion's back? Can we at least make a secret will that is supposedly the will that's in Marion's house, but yet she'll never show it to my mother? That supposedly leaves me everything? It's all, it's, there's something wrong in the street of Denmark, people. There's something wrong in the street of Denmark. That's all I have to say, okay? Like I said, I'm another video. I want to be nasty again. I just want to be held. I want to be petted like a dog. Like Omar is so content. He just sits there and he doesn't remember the hell we went through in those streets of LA and him and, and, and him. We almost died. He's remembering it. And I just, I'll never forget it. Even if Marion has to have power attorney for her. My mom wants everything. I'm her only child. She wants everything to go to me. And she doesn't understand the kind of power Marion has. Marion uses my mom's mental illness and the, you know, the threat over my mother's head. And she went back in the nut house to control my mother. Bottom line, it's that simple. I appreciate being here, but I will never, ever trust Marion. And that's a wise decision on my